Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Magic Shop Nuna channel. It is your girl KP here. Now today we're going to be getting into a little bit of the Magic Tea Talk news. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. And if you like the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And without further ado, let's jump right in. So in some huge awards news, today was the Korean Popular Culture and Arts Awards. BTS was given the prestigious honor of receiving the South Korean Presidential Order of Cultural Merit Award. Now for those who do not know exactly what this award is or what it means, this award is given to certain individuals for the outstanding material services in the fields of cultural and art in the interest of promoting the national culture and national development. BTS was actually the youngest to receive the Huaguan Order of Cultural Merit 5th Class Award. The government decided to award members of BTS an Order of Cultural Merit for their contribution to spread in Korean culture overseas and promotion of popular culture. I must say from an ARMY standpoint, I am so proud of BTS and I know that a lot of us are. Um, a lot of times they don't get recognized at home, they do a lot of feats and their media kind of skips over everything that they do. And it's because they come from a small company because if you didn't know, in Korea the top three agencies really take over the media. But I'm so glad that now they're getting recognized at home because I know we want them to get international success. That is a given. But when you're noticed at home, that's what hits home. And I know their parents are even more proud than anyone else to see their young boys grow into young men who are spreading their culture worldwide to the masses in such a positive light. So go BTS and keep flying higher in 2019. There was also another idol in attendance receiving an award today and that was Red Velvet. Red Velvet actually received the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism Commendation Award. Now you would think that today would be a great day for them to come and enjoy themselves and get their award and congratulate everyone else and go home, right? Well, no. So apparently, already, people are complaining about their outfits and what they wore. They're saying that the fact that they weren't dressed properly, they weren't formal enough, Joy's dress was too sparkly, um, Irene's pantsuit was out of the 80s and, it, and that it wasn't form-fitting enough and that Yuri didn't look like she had a waistline. Just the types of comments I talked about in my opinions video when I talk about these quote-unquote body shamers. It's just absolutely foolish. How jobless can you be to sit at home and scrutinize somebody that's getting a prestigious award performing in front of these prestigious people and you feel like dissing their outfits makes you feel better and not only that they were even saying that they were dressing like that to get the attention of BTS that is exactly why in my next video when I do my opinion piece so be looking out for it I'm gonna be talking about shipping and say sayings. It needs to be addressed because this screams of that type of behavior. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for listening in on the Magic Tea Talk. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on what I said today. I mean, I know everybody's excited about BTS and receiving this prestigious award, but let me know what you think about the Red Velvet situation. Do you think they were not dressed appropriately? Do you think people are just kind of overreacting? Put it down in the comment section below. And until next time, you guys have a great morning, afternoon, evening, and good night.